Here we go. This is the start of our big trek to Annapurna with a great trekking cake that Gail got for us. We had this nice party here. And here's all the, the, the cast of characters. Dina not only eating, she's eating the R-E-K. You had some cake yet, Tyson? Any cookies. Look at that. Cookies. Are they looking good, aren't they? Cookies. Okay, that's it. Two is enough, isn't it? Lenny. Okay, go over there. Uh, Maggie, you're a star, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna take home my uh, one clogs. Pair. One pair. This is the night before view. All kinds of boots, bags. Well, we made it all to uh, Charles de Gaulle. This is the terminal. Small problem here. Flight delayed. But uh, we trust we'll be going uh, be on the plane in a short time. Here's the crew. Getting together is Peter, Mike. Say, hey, Bob, how do you feel? I feel good. Mike, you hot? I feel good. <laughs> Your feet are killing you already. Evening in uh, Delhi. We're now approaching uh, Kathmandu Airport. Those are the Himalayas in the distance. In a little while, we'll be uh, on, the, on the ground. What do you have to say? Hi, Dave. It's been a nice flight coming from uh, Sleep well last Delhi. night? Oh, all three hours were great. Been fun yet? Some fun. Kathmandu Airport. Here's the airport building. Visa application time. Here we are arriving after this nice long bumpy ride. Night. Party's leaving. We're not going too far. Uh, the road is very exciting and we're happy to be here. Get some dinner, start eating. And other, you know, sometimes you know. What do you think, Bob? We got a winning plan? Whatever the man says. They have something to say. What do you have to say? Nothing, nothing. Okay, Mike. <laughs> sounds like a winner? We go with the guide. Good job? Yes, sure. Yeah, that, let's give the man a hand for that good driving. Good driving today, yeah. This is about 6.30 in the morning on November 1st, the first morning of our trek. We uh, survived this great ride and uh, had a very good night's sleep. And in the distance we see the, we get our first view or up close view of the Himalayas. And the town here, Bessie Sahar, is waking up. This is the uh, end of, a, of the access to the Annapurna circuit. And there's a road that we took, obviously, and it's a busy road, lots of buses here. This is a very moderate uh, environment. It's about 800 meters, about 2,500 feet. It's warm right now, shorts, t-shirt. The town is getting up. Trekkers are getting ready, having their breakfast. Looks like it's time to go trekking. This is a rough map of the trek and uh, it's called the Annapurna Circuit because it, in fact it's a complete loop if we want to do it. We're starting over here, Bessie Sahar. We're following that red line. We'll stop next at Darpani. We're going through Chame all the way up to in the Manang Valley. And this is the High Thorong La, and that's uh, going to be the biggest uh, obstacle we'll have to cross. And then we'll end up in Johnson. All the time we'll be walking around the Annapurna Himal. 
It's uh, going to be a beautiful trek. Well, we're just crossing this stream. Beanard is doing very well. He's keeping up with us. Don't get nervous, Beanard. You're doing very well. Here are the kitties taking a bath. Fresh water. Here's our team, Team Annapurna. Break time. This is one of the many bots we'll be seeing. As we can see, this is a really a subtropical area. Farming. We are sweating. It's warm or hot. And we're going to go from here to uh, about 17,000 feet of uh, hot, of cold, <laughs> rather, cold, cold weather. Here we come, Peter, Mike. Bob is somewhere, but we don't know. Yeah, Bob is out there getting his stuff together. He doesn't realize that he has to take all that stuff off in about 30 seconds. Took everything off. Uh, you're going to have to take, uh, put everything on. You have to take it off. We're taking a break. You happy? Break. Yeah, we just, that was a, that was a pre-break break. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone stopped here for a little rest. And we're looking over this beautiful site and uh, this beautiful bridge. Which, uh, well, the local people are still using this bridge. We were advised not to. A total change of plans, and the guys had to come down here. Bino found us a shortcut, and the shortcut involves uh, this bridge, which uh, doesn't look too bad. These guys are uh, feeling happy and confident enough to stop in the center and, and uh, tell jokes or whatever they were doing. Uh, Bino, give me a wave. There you go. The guys are up and gone up down the uh, other side of the little valley here. Uh, the water is coming down here pretty quickly, clean, clear, although I wouldn't uh, drink it. Go down here in a kayak maybe. Came up this little pathway, past somebody's house, with some dynamite little children here. Namaste. 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 Up. It's pretty steep and it's hot here. Here's the team. We stopped talking to some Aussie, and in the distance, uh, s uh, some of the uh, snow-covered peaks, and uh, the contrast in temperature is uh, uh, significant, maybe 90 degree or more. Because right now it's really warm. Lunch break at this lovely spot. Everybody's getting comfortable. Our guides, guides' friends, and the crew. Yeah, we have a cool breeze, but the uh, thermometer is telling us it's about uh, almost 90 degrees. Uh, it's cool in the shade, but uh, out here it's real sunny and warm. Some after lunch activities, stretching, and some afternoon inactivities. On the trail again, beautiful suspension bridge. You like that, Mike? Ah, uh, that was great. Bridge. What a rush. Menang's our target. Well, we've got to check in at the uh, Annapurna Conservation Area Project. I can see it's great. Of course, you guys, are, you're gleaming. That's a scary camera. <laughs> Inside, there's a little uh, altitude profile. We're somewhere over here. And we're going to go up, up. Up, 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 up to that peak, 5,416 meters. We're right here now, Bully Bully. Well, here's our hotel for the night. Trekkers Lodge. Uh, this looks good. Hot shower. Whoa. They're welcoming us. And this will look like what it's, it looks like. Our room is down there. And uh, that's uh, a famous laundry of mine flowers it's warm it's uh, it's wonderful this is quite a surprise we we're expecting every night to uh, freeze and we're not it's warm at night there's a toilet the shower door is opening for me now as I uh, as I'm right here and there's Mike trying to push over the shelter so we're in room number four and uh, look at that isn't that gorgeous mosquito netting Right outside the hotel, there's this beautiful field of rice, or patties filled with rice. What's your name? Ram. 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 And you live here? Yeah. And do you run this? You take care of the hotel? Yeah. 
Where, where did you go to school, Ram? Uh, just 15 minutes far. By walking? Yeah. Was it a long walk? Mm -hmm. Uphill, downhill, or flat? 15 minutes far. From That's me. all? Yeah. That's all. And it, it's for how many children in your classes? Uh, many? Yeah, 30, 35. And they're all from this little village here? Mm -hmm. Here we are, second day, little uh, break. We're on the trail, have a, having uh, hiked about two and a half hours. Very sweaty, we're soaked, hot. And we've uh, run into a little mule train here. And uh, Bob, a couple words of wisdom in uh, about two seconds. I'm finally having some fun. Good. And. What do you say, Pete? Let's rent the mule. Matt, renting a mule, that's good. Mike, how's your knee? Knee's great. You loving it? I'm loving it. b we got a good crew here or what? Yeah, good crew. Yeah. Goofy? Say it louder. A little you like it, Goofy? Like it <laughs> we're going to make it. Yes. There's a mule. It's another mule train. And we're at this beautiful stop. Oh, look, the guy's riding it. Have we seen many people? There's beautiful terracing here. In this valley, this is a really a sort of a subtropical area. Well, the beginning of the third day of our trek. Last night we spent in Jagat. It was a pretty hard climb coming up here. Just a little taste of what's to come. A little taste of what's to come. There's our group getting ready. Here's a picture of the uh, town. Uh, we started hearing pony trains, or rather uh, mule trains, coming through here at 5.30. We're in a valley, going up slowly, torturously. And it's very green, verdant. And we're just above uh, air areas where uh, they're growing rice in great abundance. There's some of the pretty people here. Peter, everyone's, I think I better get my stuff on. There's a cornmeal on the trail in the middle of nowhere. It's a good excuse for everybody to stop. Soybeans actually. Wave. Okay. We're still in this valley, huffing and puffing. We'll get out. This is a trail going up. There's another few pass. There's a beautiful waterfall we see on our way on the side of this valley. It was beautiful enough to get these guys to stop. They don't stop very often. Here's some of the trekking people we're running into. I met him in the John last night. That was exciting. Yeah, I right know. All right, let's okay, you. It's, uh, it's we're, we're working very hard. It's uh, everyone is sweating. Uh huh. It's a beautiful day. Uh huh. And uh, I can't wait to put the camera away and get going again. Okay, let's go. So let's quickly. go. Zoom, zoom. Break time at Satale, meaning seven stories, at the Thorong Peak Lodge, a peak uh, hotel and restaurant. Nice shady spot to take a break. And the view here is great. We cross this river downstream and had a climb up to get where we are now. And that was grueling. Notice the beautiful flowers, Lalipate in Nepal. These are more common. And these are beautiful plastic flowers. And we're over an incredible gorge. This goes up and we have to climb Well, we've reached the peak of this right, that's good, that's good. mountain. That's good. Goofy is telling me where to walk without tripping. And this great, we're greeted with this great view. Absolutely beautiful. Spectacular. We had to stop for a photo up here. After coming down from there, 
We are into this uh, nice little well-developed, well-organized town of Tal, T-A-L. I guess the term village would be more appropriate. Greeted by some very, Shadow very play. nice ch looking children. Stay. Stay. Namaste. There's a big project here to make uh, water and uh, sell it rather than uh, using iodine or uh, buying bottled water in plastic. This is the uh, tourist checkpoint. Here's where we are. We're going to go to a nice bakery. Their own school. And a nice uh, restaurant with some strange characters outside. We've got a very good good looking English. Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh oh, this chap can't make it. He's knocking it down. Oh, uh, the police are coming. The police are coming. A uh, little uh, chicken running around getting something to eat. Corn being dried and beaten. And this guy is making a straw mat. Uh, here's a typical menu, something we see almost what, two or three times a day. Milk tea, all kinds of teas, additions, pasta, the old fried macaroni, curries, the dal bot set, soups, onion soup, garlic soup, potato soup, momo, spring rolls, all kinds of chapatis, Tibetan bread. Ah, uh, this is the great breakfast, oak porridge and apple. And then here are the room charges. Single bedroom, 80, that, that works out to a dollar, which is about the same amount of money as uh, musli, musli and hot milk. <laughs> Potato dishes. That's the big stuff. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, about a dollar and a half. Okay, here's a. Uh, Pete, what do you have there? I have cold garlic, uh, cold tuna fish with cold macaroni. Okay, Bob. Is it cold? What do you, what do you got, Bob? Tell me again. Fried rice with egg. No, yeah, it's good. Lots of garlic. It's good. It's good garlic. <laughs> good try some. Okay, we're here in Darapani. No, no. At the Tibetan hotel and restaurant. This is the plaza. And this is the grand staircase to the first floor. This is the balcony. That's the dining. And this is the grand staircase to the second floor. And our room is over there. Our chicken. Here comes our chicken for tonight, which was just weighed. Soon it's going to be what you might call chicken curry. We trek through uh, a bit of mist, drizzle. And uh, as you can see, this is still drizzly, misty. Did, uh, we came from this direction. Krishna picked the hotel? Did they do it? Across the street, we have an electronic center. We might be able to get some communications out tonight. These people are Buddhists, uh, hence all these prayer flags. Down the end of the street are the mules. I guess they're finished for the day. Okay, we're on the way to the curve. The fourth day on the trail and we get the first shot of Annapurna 2 from the trail. In a wide uh, section of the trail the men are beating a millet. Wheat. Wheat. Yep. Wheat. Wheat. It's a whole family working here. Say, Pete. We're eating this tonight for dinner. Is this for the chapati this tonight, is Bob? Future chapati and Tibetan bread. Word You're zoom day. zooming. Word of the I'm day. film filming. The word of the day is done your butt. Uh, last night it rained. We were a little uh, scared we'd have rain all day. But no, everyone has their rain gear, but no rain. Looks like it's going to be clear and beautiful. The trees around here are starting to change. A lot of pine trees. We're getting higher. What's our altitude now, Bino? 2,100 meters. We're, we're being passed by several groups here. <laughs> Belgian, Slovakia, uh, Slovenians. Slovenians. <laughs> we'll get it right, yeah. I'll get it right. Um, 
And in the distance, Manan Slough. What are you? American. Aussie, oh. Aussie, all right. Where the Aussies? Aussies, there we go. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Okay, keep moving. Put a shrimp on the Barbie. Barbie, okay, mate. Here we stop for a little break. And the mountain goats. We're at the Tatapani Lodge. Our Slovenian friends. Here we go, we're in Chamney. And uh, we're pr spinning the prayer wheels. What are you, doing some ooms? <laughs> Jamne, it was about 30 minute walk from our lunch. It has these beautiful uh, rock faces surrounding it. We came up a very nice pine forest. Bino told us it was two hours. It was 30 minutes. He said. Uh, okay, we got to Chamney in good shape. Uh, three, about three o'clock in the afternoon, and here's our Sang So guest house. Again, a grand staircase going up to the balcony, right across the uh, street from the bridge. The river looks uh, rather foreboding, cold, and has that uh, look of glacier-fed water. Here's our very pleasant room. Not very big, but it has three windows. Pretty neat. Here's a mule train going over this little bridge. We also saw people on uh, horseback. And coming down these steps, that's a trick. Whoa, way to go, hop along. You're relaxing, we're relaxing here in the dining room. This is our friend Mike, who uh, is impervious to cold. This is the owner of the lodge, right? Yeah. And your name is? My name is Sango Lama. Uh, and uh, he's allowed me to take a picture of the kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen, much, much nicer than anything we saw at Kumba. Everything is over the cooked over a wood fire. Nice wooden floor, and everything is nice and clean. Look at all those shiny plates. Very charming lady. I don't know what she's doing, but she's very charming. One cook. What's your name? Anja. And the assistant cook. Outside the uh, hotel, Lamzung. Beginning of the fifth trekking day. Looks like Longzum got more snow last night. Yep. And uh, this is more of the range. I think that's the Annapurna range. We're now off on a four hour trek to Pitsang. Straight through. Smile. No lunch, right? <laughs> We're about 9,000 feet now on our way to Pitsang from Chame. This looks like any good uh, northwest, northeast. Um, trail, except when you uh, look up here, you see Annapurna. And when you look over here, you see a Buddhist uh, water-driven prayer wheel. Somewhere upstream, the water is diverted from this river, which is the river we're following. Comes into the prayer wheel house, turns the prayer wheel. That's it. We're still in shorts and short sleeve shirts. But it's crisp today, and it's going to get crisper tomorrow. This might be the last day for shorts. Okay, we got the uh, first portion of the circuit here on the map. Mike has his finger at our starting point, Bessie Sahar. And then we left there, and we went up to Bully Bully. We left Bully Bully and went up to... Where did we go, my? We, went, we got, went to Nagbi. 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 We got lost. Nagbi is in here somewhere. Okay. Then from Nagbi we went up to Jagat. Jagat, which is here. Yeah. We from there. 
There, from there we went to uh, Dharapani. Dharapani overnight. So it was almost all due north during this portion. And at Dharapani we turned west. And Turn. it was here where we started seeing views of Annapurna 2, which is over here. And Masalu, which is off the map over here to the right. Now where are we right now? Okay, well we started out this morning at Chame. Right. Which is right here. Which is 2,000 meters. 2,600 meters. And that's equal to about, do you remember, 8,500 feet. Yep. And yeah, then, yeah. and then we've we've hiked in the last two hours to Bratang, Bratang which is about two thirds of the way to our distance of Lower Pasang, which is over here. Okay, it's Upper Pasang, and that's and it. And if we get there early enough, and everybody's strong enough, anybody that feels like it. We can go up to Upper Pasang, which is supposed to have some beautiful views of the, Anna, the two Annapurnas. Or, if we're really feeling energetic, we can climb up to base camp for Pasang Peak, which looks like it's probably about an hour and a half climb, up to an elevation of 4,380 meters. Great. Okay. We're on the road to Pasang. The vista is spectacular. Maybe New York City would impress you. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Just little rest. Small rest. Greatly appreciated rest. Power bar time. Power bar time. Power bar time. We thought we'd seen everything there was to see and then we saw this. Here's another view of this valley. Yeah. Those are ski tracks. Just wonderful. So they didn't do a lot of turning. We're on the road to Pasang. Came across an absolutely spectacular view here of the valley and an old bridge. And this goes up. It's at the bottom of a developed agricultural area, which is spectacular. Well, here's a mule train. I hope I hope they know about not knocking over my backpack. Isn't he cute? There are lots of bayberry trees here, and I, I think what we see across the valley here are also bayberry trees on the edges of the farms, of the uh, pastures or the fields. I believe those horizontal lines are walls dividing the, the side here into uh, developed fields. In the distance we can see the high mountains. Here's the old, a view of the old footbridge of Pasang from the new footbridge. I'm getting bounced up and down by these guys coming across. We're going to go visit this monastery. It's late in the afternoon, sun is down, and we're getting a different uh, impression of the valley, but we can still see the Himalayas. And Mike's head. Yep. That's Annapurna? Not this Annapurna. Annapurna is over there. That's Annapurna. We started off on that bridge, came up this uh, steep short hill, and we're now uh, on the grounds of uh, the monastery here that's being rebuilt. Uh, these are their prayer flags, and in the distance here, we can see the tip of Annapurna II, it's snow coming off. If we look carefully. And at the end of the valley we can see Lumzung. This monastery is being is replacing an older one. It's uh, two years in construction and two more years to go. The inside has some very nice woodwork and carving, wooden posts, 
We're right outside the old monastery. We're about 10,000 feet, and the tip of Annapurna is about 26, 25, 26,000 feet. And that would be Annapurna too. And this is the old monastery. Look at the masks. Yeah. This is extensively uh, decorated and very beautiful masks, which I'm quite interested in. Yeah, prayer scriptures. Here are all their prayer scriptures, mm -hmm. as Goofy just informed us. What's in front, Goofy? Uh, this the main Buddha statue, and there are a hundred and something Buddha statues on the top. A hundred Buddha statues, I see them. I presume these drums are uh, banged during praying. Praying, yes. That's the main Buddha. Mike. The little Buddha images are lining this area. And here are some of the different deities. Here are some more of the deities, the statues of the deities. Okay, Goofy's now going to light candles for us. Thank you. There's Mike doing it. Tomorrow uh, we'll be taking that trail to Manang. This is an interesting image of the prayer flags over the uh, town of uh, Upper Pisan. Blowing the prayers to the wind. Walking down the steps from Upper Pisan. And down to Lower Pisan. The clouds are now rolling in over Upper Pisan. This gompa was built for a group of German climbers who died on a mountaineering accident uh, uh, some time ago. You got the sheep are going, I mean, the mountain goats are going home. End of the day. Gathering in the animals, sorting them out. A lot of excitement here. Almost got killed by a bull. These are calves are going somewhere. There's some of the other animals. I think he's still mad at me. This big excitement for all the little children. <laughs> Everyone's very happy. He's a big kid. Here's Bob showing some of his work to the town. Show it to the kids again, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> they love his electronic history. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> this is the uh, dining room of our, our nice little hotel. A lot of people sitting around drinking. Relaxing. On the road to Manan, very well pointed and very nice. day six of the trek, and uh, we uh, started off with this. How you doing, Mike? We started off with uh, some steep uh, trails, and uh, it's been flat. Uh, this is a little unusual. These formations, quite beautiful. 
mountains all around us. We're starting to see more and more of the Himalayas, the uh, high snow-covered Himalayas. There they are. We're uh, on the road, on the road to Manang. Starting to be quite uh, different. Here's Anna. So what's that nice mountain I see over there on the left, Mike? Okay. So so the one that you see the the snow blowing off of the peak is Annapurna 2. And then next to it. And then if you look over to the right, it's sort of a plateau up to another small peak. That's yeah. Annapurna 4. Okay. And this one over here, going further to the west is Annapurna 3. And, Gunga, and that one over further to the west is Gangapurna. Okay, we got it. And, and no, I'm not sure. The one way over there you don't know. Day seven of the trek, waking up in Manang, we have snow on our laundry. It snowed a little bit last night. Um, and uh, fortunately today was a scheduled rest day. We're in the courtyard of this nice little lodge. Room 108, light and, light and airy. But the best part, a shower connected to the room. What luxury. And the bathroom. There's our hotel, Yak Hotel. This is the odd sights of Manang, snow-covered, snow-powdered Manang. Trekkers and porters playing frisbee. This is one of the uh, young trekkers we met, Steve. We met him in Charme. He must have met a bunch of other people. Typical social interaction. I'm back at a hotel. The Young people have uh, made themselves a little snowman. A good job, a good job. Yeah, A, A-okay, A-okay. A uh, good, a good snowman. Uh-oh, he's falling apart. Good job. In the middle of their cabbage patch and so forth back here, they're growing a lot of vegetables. Some corn. Now this is a view of Manang. And it's taken from the lip of a glacial lake we hiked up to on this rest day of ours. Gangapurna Lake. Gangapurna Lake. Crew is here. The mountains still have clouds on them. It's still threatening. Uh, we hope it uh, cleans up, clears up rather by tomorrow. Start another four-hour uh, hike. After a very uh, challenging, short, steep climb, we're looking down over Manang, over the Ganga Purna Glacier, and the Manang, I mean uh, lake. And the Manang Gahila River. <laughs> the Manang Gahila River. We got a little comedy here. Anything more, Pete? Some more funny stuff. Yeah, this is a bus man's holiday. Bus we're man's on holiday. our days off. Going here is the Ganga Purna G Glacier, and above it, in the clouds is Gangapurna. A couple of words of wisdom, Bob. We are becoming terminally tough. Very tough. We are tough as nails. We are going to fly over the pass. I love it. We're going to impress these young dollies. <laughs> You're rocking and rolling. This old bunch. Like what about? Of yeah, you got. You <laughs> got that back in. No, I didn't get it in. <laughs> Okay. It's like cleaned up. I want some philosophy from you. Philosophy. Some words of wisdom here. Here, here we are in a beautiful uh, Buddhist part of Nepal, communing with nature in this beautiful snow-covered glacier area. I'm just trying to catch my breath. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> that was a steep climb up. How many feet? I'm guessing 1,500. In about uh, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm guessing in about an hour. But yeah. it said it should take an hour and 15 minutes, so yeah. we did good. We did very well. Now here's a breathtaking view from the highest point on this ridge. We can see the lake, the river, 
in the town. Goofy is showing off his young, yeah, you're yeah. looking beautiful. Yeah. Continuing around. This is uh, a view from whence we came yesterday. Now all covered in clouds. Bob taking a moment to communicate. Maybe catch his breath. We're all kind of warm. What's that, Mike? Let's go look at the other hill over here. Okay. We can see the uh, creeping modernization here. There's a satellite dish right on top. There's one of uh, buddies uh, we've met on the trek, a, a Scotsman. He must have taken some single malt with him. <laughs> so where's the rest of your clothing? The only trouble is the glen. So amid the mountains and the glen, from my ancestral burial ground, I am Marquian. Then in the hearts of highland men, my restless soul will never sleep. I am Marquian. And yet my lonely spirit soars Amid the mountains and the glen I am a Yeah! yeah. So, okay, wait, I need an, some information now. Where, where are you from, precisely? Precisely, I was born in Ayrshire, Burns Country, South West. I'm a Lowlander. A Lowlander? A lot of people call Sassanacs Englishmen, but I'm a Sassanac. I'm a Lowland Scot. And I'm what's the full name? Matthew Glover. My Highland name is Clooney McPherson. There you go. Late for the Battle of Clodden, 16th of April, 1746. We've climbed even higher, another couple of hundred feet probably. And the view is uh, even better up here. Here's the glacier again. And this is the valley we came from yesterday. That's Braca. And Manong is not visible from this point. It's over that ridge that where the prayer flags are. Right. <coughs> yeah. yeah. High 40s. High 40s. High 40s. Okay, coming down now. Being very cautious. Very cautious. Protect. No. Bother to bring my poles or my knee pads. Good thinking, huh? Yeah. How you doing, Bob? Secure, safe, well balanced. Cool. Looking good. Oh, we're, uh, we're back down at the little stopping point. Sun has come out and we can see a lot more of the mountains. And we can go down for lunch. What, do you, what are we going to eat, Bino? What do you like? You know? No, you said there's something special. No, that's for us, not for you guys. No, I like that stuff. <laughs> okay, then let's have that. Dero. Dero. Local. Day eight of our trek. Day eight. Day eight, and we're leaving Manang. We're on for a, a f reasonable four hour trek to Yakarta. And uh, we're in good shape. We had a nice rest day. We're here in this valley. I don't think we can qualify that as a rest day anymore. That's because you guys went day. off on a, a little <laughs> right. I wish I was there to tape it. It's a brief rundown of what happened to Mike and Bob yesterday. I, I, I have not been able to see that point. It's so hard. Yeah. That a, is, so, that a, is that called biting off too much? So our rest, no, it was called going the wrong way and not being able to turn back. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> good. It Did was, you almost uh, die? No, we didn't almost die, but we could have broken some bones. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds interesting. Okay. Cl climbing up a 70 degree incline with nothing to grab onto except thorn bushes. And, I, and was, I'd have uh, to explain this to your family if you didn't come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is this a good day for you? Back to normal back health. To, that's it. Healthy. Thank you. That's good. The trail out of uh, Manang is a little steep. I think we're going to put on about a thousand feet today. 1500. 1500 to be exact. A nice clear day. Should be no problem. Oh, Here's wow. some little Tibetan girls. <laughs> Hi. It's nice Hi. Hi. You're a little, you're smiling. And came up here and 
taking a little rest stop. There's some of the characters are down here and we have some local actors. <laughs> That's Gangapurna and Apurna 3 across the valley. And we're going up in that direction. You get your pictures, Mike? Yes, and I just ran out of film, so I need to put another one in. Actually, there are birds flying around. I think they're ravens. We can see that the trees are almost all conifers now. What we can see. And on the sides of the hill, it's getting very sparse, a lot of bayberry. But the most striking is the uh, closeness of these mountains and their magnificent beauty. <laughs> Just breathtaking. This is a Belgian couple that we've been trucking along side by side with for a couple of days. The Scottish pair. I don't know what they're doing. What are you guys looking for down there? What are you trying to find? Is it legal or illegal? That's why it's Scotland's where, where sporting's are like getting raped. This is a Slovenian girl who had some trouble with their porter. And uh, they were rescued by Goofy. Three girl. Oh. This is worth a big segment of the tape. We've made it to Yak Kart and uh, Manang province, and we're staying at the Gangapurna Lodge. The view from whence we came is really breathtaking. Just magnificent. There's uh, yaks and horses in the fields. Below us is a river that we'll continue to follow. And this is the direction we'll be going in. Heading closer and closer to that mountain. My beard is getting longer. I think my face is getting thinner. I'm feeling great. I just started a little cough today. I think many people do at this altitude. We're all in very good shape and we're all sleeping very well. Uh, it seems as if we'll have no trouble for the rest of the trip. Here's where we're gonna eat lunch. Walk into this place, fresh bakery. Here's the um, kitchen, wood fired. Some people cooking their hands. Are you cooking your hands? Very interesting. Yeah, there, there's the crew. He's goofing around. Yeah. Very good. Don't burn yourself, Goofy. Here we are. My food's ready? Yeah, yeah. It's Where's my food? You have a chill noodle soup over there. Over here? Chill There's noodle. my That's big skin. bowl of noodle soup. Oh. One of my favorites. Right noodle soup. Salt Famous bread. boiled Salt potatoes. Right. It's mine. Here's the and vegetables. Clothes. Here's a beautiful shot looking back from where we came. And, uh, We're taking a little uh, break now ago, did that and the chatter in the background is with uh, some of the, uh, the friends from Great Britain. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, just like I said, England and Scotland. I'm panting because we're moving up on a little on this little walk. Uh, Bob and Mike Pete took a little afternoon off. Bob has been tripping. <laughs> He's doing great, though. Uh, it's wonderful. We're about ready to turn around here. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're just getting the view. Getting the view. And the view is worth it. You got to come up here with your camera. Take a look at where we're going. Here I come. Tomorrow we're going to have to pass that little building. We can see the trail in the distance. And we'll be 
on that trail for about four or five hours. Somewhere up that valley, we'll be going. To the right, we see a glacier, and there's some people up there that we don't know what they're doing. There's uh, juniper here, bayberry, lots of lichen. I'm liking this. <laughs> Wherever we look, no pine to be seen. So this is a real example of subalpine tundra. Tun I don't know what Mike is doing here. Met up with a yak on the way back and some friends. There's <laughs> the last moments of the day. Sun is uh, just about going down. A little evening entertainment. We're here day 10 of our trek on to the last stop before we go over Throng La, Throng Petty. This is a little rest stop of the uh, combined trekking groups. In the back we have a beautiful view of the Annapurnas. This is just great. We'll be going up for another two hours. It's about uh, six, between 40 and 60 degrees depending on where we're taking our temperature. I'm good. Yeah, you sleep well? No. No, was it cold? Didn't sleep worth a shit. <laughs> cold all night. Cold. Bob, how cold are your tootsies? Cold. They feel good now. It took me about three hours to warm them up. Yeah, this is the coldest night, yeah, right? Yeah, right. I had ice crystals between my toes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You well, yawning, what does that took, mean? Three hours to take all our pills last night, so it didn't give us much time for sleep. Oh, yeah, tough, tough. <laughs> Life is rough. Pete, Pete is uh, in his shorts. He's showing off his gorgeous legs. You didn't get cool today. <laughs> We're about ready to move on. <laughs> Were you cold last night? No, yes, make up your mind. How many blankets did you put on top of your sleeping bag? Two? Two. One. One. <laughs> Zero. Zero, okay. Blankets. Well, we've uh, almost made it to Thorum Petty. Uh, the group is coming on this trail. We took a high trail uh, on the other side of the valley is so-called low trail, which we avoided. It's uh, horribly steep and uh, dangerous. In the distance is the town. And we hope we'll be able to get beds there. Everyone is in good shape. Bob told me I'm getting stronger. That's his way of telling me he's getting weak. I think we're going to have to find the trail that goes all the way down and then uh, cross the river and then come up again. We'll, we'll come in panting. Fetty means base of hill. That means uh, Thorn Petty base of uh, Thorn La. Well, we made it down to the riverbed below Thorn Petty, and that was a crumbly, crumbly walk from the high trail. We have to cross from here. Over here, there's a bridge, and climb that trail. And there's the town. Uh, village. 
Hamlet. Documentary. Documentary, you want to take yeah. a picture of me? That's good. All right. Well, it was a very good walk. I'm getting a, a semi-professional photographer to take this of me. Uh -huh. And uh, we're very proud here because we're, uh, we're in great shape for tomorrow. I don't see any problems. I'm the biggest problem. <laughs> so we look forward to taking a little rest today, playing some cards, getting up about 5 in the morning, and attacking Thorn Pass. So we're looking forward to that. We'll need some rest today, and we'll do it. All right. This wonderful uh, Thorn Base Camp. We have a wonderful room down there. And we were amazed to find it not only had windows on three sides, but also a private bath. A solely heated dining room. This is very new, very clean, and very nice looking. Good? Solar heated dining room. Solar heating. Yeah, we have solar heated dining room. The one in How are you feeling, Pete? How are you? Feeling good, Mike? Feeling good. Thanks for the great room, Bob. Yes, Bob is our hero today. A beautiful room. And Bob's in there getting his stuff ready. Windows on three sides, three sides. Panoramic views, duck, and the best of all, a private bath. There it is, our own private bath. To be fair, I should take a picture of the ice on the floor of the bathroom. We're at the end of our last of our day at uh, Thorin Petty. It's colder than hell. Bob is ready to go to bed. Note the ski hat, the gloves. He's ready. Well, tomorrow morning we get up it's 7.30 now, we get up at about 4, and we hope to get going at 4.30. Good luck to us. I'm reading about Everest, where they all died at 28,000 people, <laughs> and we're going up to 18,000. Yeah, n no sweat. Day 10 of our trek, <clears throat> and we're halfway to Thorum La. And it's uh, been a uh, tough two-hour climb for me. And uh, steep, probably put on a thousand meters through snow. Uh, we're now stopping at this little lodge for a little break. We had, actually had a, a wonderful cup of hot tea. The scenery here has changed now. Almost all the peaks are covered with snow. In the distance, we can see the uh, trek is continuing on up the trail. It looks like there might be a, um, a summit there, but it probably won't come for another two or three hours. Around us are, well, we're surrounded by high mountains. We came up the trail in back of me here. We can see a, a trek slowly coming up here. In the background, there are other trekkers. Here is relatively easy because it's downhill, but there was an enormous amount of uphill. There's a pony here for anybody who needs help getting to the uh, pass. Be no goofy woman. We've almost made it to the summit. We're stopping for a little break. It's just short of the summit, about probably 17,000 feet. And the view here is marvelous. And it's changed so much in the past few days. Just so much. The summit is in that direction. Yeah, this is Mike sharing the wealth with some companions, trail companions. How do you feel about this, Mike? Ah, this is wonderful. Feel good? We came from that valley and we stopped where those trekkers are stopping for a rest. 
We can see glaciers in the mountains here. The sky is getting darker blue and darker. And we can't see a cloud today. And it's uh, hardly windy here at all. So far. Don't get pessimistic, Mike. Uh, <laughs> gets windy in the afternoon. Don't, uh, don't well, right now it's just great. <laughs> Here we up. are, approaching Throng Law. Up to Throng Law. Steve and party on the way. Woo. It's just another 50, 50 yards up. Woo, yoo-hoo! Come on, Dave. Come on. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Yeah. We're the happy bunch of people who is proud to cross the pass. Right up to the pass. All right. Happy bunch of people. Finally made it to the pass. Reception party. Hey, Bob. Yeah. We are the lucky ones who may we have the reception. He's way up and we're waiting. Where's the garlic? Right. Yeah. Woo. We, uh, Bob, anything? Speed racing. We Bob? Race stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bob, Bob oh. did speed racing. <laughs> speed racing. All right. Speed racing. He was uh, happy. He made, uh -huh. he made a new record. New Nida record. Just pulled us up. Bravo. You can do it. Bravo. You can do it. Keep coming. Yeah. Keep coming. All right. Okay. Yeah, a, it was, how do you like it? Um, it was great. I'm really glad to be here. You're ecstatic. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> In good shape. Hard or easy? Um, it was uh, moderately hard. <laughs> for you, moderately hard. For me, very, very hard. This is. I was. I thought it was great. It was beautiful. So this is my cat scarf from Manjo and Solo Kumbu, and it's been to all the Buddhist centers in Ladakh and ancient Buddhist learning centers in Pakistan. Wow. And then it's been through Tibet, and now it's going to get hung on the Thorang Lapas. Wow. Wow. You've been around. Here's a view down to the other side of the pass. Very beautiful. We'll be going down there shortly. This is one of the Frenchmen who I uh, helped. Give me a few words of wisdom. How do you uh, feel? Wisdom I cannot give at this altitude. All I can say is that this is beautiful. Uh, it's the how, do you, how do you feel about yourself making it? Oh, I feel great about myself making it. I, I think so. so. This is this is the highest I've ever been without drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Were a few magical words from Bob. Be some cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you think uh, what is this compared to, uh, as regards what you thought it was going to be? Um, it was about 10 percent easier and about 20 percent harder. And uh, relative to everything else you've done. It was about 50% easier and 100% harder. Come on, let's get straight here, <laughs> Pop Scare. It was very painful, but we did it. Good. The Nepalese ah. Mountain High. Yeah. Was it a mistake coming here? <laughs> it was a mistake, a mistake. This is a, you know. This life, is the best decision you made. A lifetime experience, a peak experience. I, I agree. <laughs> okay, yeah, Peter, you, you can start time. talking now. I came when I was 62, and I feel like I'm 70 now. 70, that was that bad? Wasn't that bad for you? Oh, it was horrible. How does, that, how does this compare to anything else you've done, including sex? No sex. That might have helped. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To say Himalay. Okay, Himalay. One, two, three, Himalay. One, two, three. These are a bunch of crazy One, people who just passed. Another one coming. Oh. One, two, three. Himalaya! Oh my god. <laughs> Did you get it? No. Two more. Two more. <laughs> Goofy! One, yeah, say hi to Goofy. Himalaya! Oh, okay, wait, wait. One. one more. All right. 
one more. Can you do it with this one? Because I'm not yeah. doing this right over. <laughs> That's enough with that one. Just to Let's push it. That one's to close it, you just. Uh, we'll uh, be leaving this shortly and getting down about 2,000 feet. I'm looking back. I'm a, we're about a half hour outside of Moktuna. The trail came across the uh, side of that uh, sunlit slope, and uh, it's about four o'clock now. That means we got up about 12 hours ago, and we've been trekking for about 12, for 11 of those hours. And I'm really tired. I don't know about everybody else, but this has been an one exhausting day. Um, I can, you know, to here we have we have to walk about another half hour on this trail. We can't see Muktana yet, but uh, we'll be there soon, and we'll greatly appreciate just lying down. Muktana. We made it down from our uh, big trek to this village which is uh, all alive this morning. Livestock and the women have set up their weaving benches. All sorts of activity. That's a souvenir stand. She wants me to buy something. Yes, I mean. What do you want me to buy? Everything. Everything. How much is that one? This one? Yeah. Simply. How many? 900. 900 rupees? Yes. For two? For two? One. One? Oh. These look interesting. Uh, they're obviously made right here. Here's another workbench. This is a town compost heap. Well, around here we have these mountains, beautiful mountains, and the one, the highest one is Nilgiri. All the other ends. At the best, the best known. So from Nilgiri we move over, and there's Dilgiri. That's one of the two mountains that Herzog had as potential goals when he went, uh, when he finally climbed Annapurna. Dilagiri. Here's some people processing uh, yak meat. We can review our progress with this beaten up map I have in my pack and a couple of cough suppressants. So day one we started in Besi Sahar and we continued up and stayed a night in Manang and Yakarta, which is not marked on this map, overnight at the second cough suppression. We uh, stayed at Throng Petty and climbed over the height, the 17,500 foot Throng La or Throng Pass. And we're now at the third cough suppressor, which is Muktana. And we're going to be going to Kakbeni and Jomson. And we propose to continue following this all the way around. Well, it looks like over here there was some sort of a landslide. We'll see what that's all about. The total will be close to 150 miles. I'm choked up just thinking. We're on the road coming out of Muktana. There's some sheep on the ridges there. I think they're watching us as much as we're watching them. Here comes a porter carrying a load of three beams. One of the porters told us this load is about 160 pounds, 180. I believe him. On the road to Cat. Benny, a little agricultural settlement. Very beautiful, peaceful. 
people hurting a little bit this year because the tourist trade is down. More scenes on the way and one of the uh, features we can see throughout this area the installation of electric poles which indicates that soon this uh, there'll be a lot of electric power. There's our group. We're walking downhill but at 11 or 14,000 feet we still get out of breath. In the distance there from whence we came this morning, Muktana and the mountains around it. We're on a windy plain at a bush that's used for some sort of uh, um, spiritual purposes. In the background, Dulagari. We're on the downhill trail to Cat Benny. In the distance, the long ridge leading to Dulagari and to my right, the village is where we're going. We'll be there in about a half hour. A little uh, agricultural activity, plowing and seeding here and singing to the animals. This is right outside Cat Benny. Which we're about ready to enter. Uh, here we are. Day 12. Leaving Cat Benny on the way to Marfa by way of Johnson. We're at about 9,000 feet overlooking this delta which is now being used by these thirsty sheep or goats. Can anybody figure out what goats. they are? Goats. They're goats. They're go all goats. Yeah. They love it. Look at them, cute little guys. In this wonderful valley, under beautiful mountains to our left, Nilgiri. Nilgiri. And as we zoom to the right, as you can see, small part of the <laughs> Just a small part. Is that it? No, no, no. No, it's over there. In between two. Dalgary. Well, this is the Dalgary up ahead, isn't it? Right over there. The little white between the two yeah, that's, valleys. That's Nilgary. Dalgary in front of us. Nilgary to our left. Well, this we'll see Christmas. more of this valley. That's Nilgary? Yeah. Okay. We're walking down this trail. And I think. Peter and Doofy are some distance in front of us. No, those are, they're close to, the, to that little group. But we'll be there in a moment. We're on the side of the uh, Gali Kandaki River. And this uh, goes on to form the great Gali Kandaki Gorge. We've been tra traveling on this uh, riverbed for about an hour with uh, Dulagari in the distance. We're on the way to Johnson. In about another hour, hour and a half, we'll be here. We'll be there. And uh, they're very interesting rock formations here. It's a gorgeous sight. In the middle of the runoff period, I'm sure there's water from shore to shore here, and this is all covered. Stripping Bob, down. Bob is uh, stripping down as we do. As we go on here, every day, start off overdressed, and now he's showing his beautiful, muscular, bony body. Are you going to get buck naked? Yes, I love it. Beautiful, Bob. Go ahead, Pete. Like I said, I'm glad I'm not wearing my Tevas. Walking on these rocks would be tough. Killing us. This is an example. This is a mixture of sand and, and these little boulders. 
and in some places the boulders are just thick and we have to make our way across um, unmarked sort of trails. The, Sher the Sherpas don't seem to mind this at all and they're uh, making it with really minimal footwear. We're continuing on the Kaligandaki riverbed, passing an area with some willow trees. Uh, and in the distance we see Dulagari. The valley we just came from is in the distance, uh, I mean, uh, stretches to the distance. Uh, and Johnson is in back of us by about a half hour. We're in Marfa now, which uh, boasts to be the apple capital of Nepal. All sorts of apple dishes, and it's a great producer of apples. And Marfa is, uh, this is a little apple orchard in the village. Marfa has a very nice appearance. Lots of stone wall uh, aqueducts. Lots of activity in the street, all sorts of uh, caravans moving back and forth. I'll walk through, I hope I'll see some. Bye bye! Bye bye! She wants me to buy the mask. I bet. What's that? Mixing paint for this floor. Very handsome lady. It's a kitchen. Here's our sleeping quarters. No private bath tonight. The garden. The mountains from We're about an hour and a half on our day 13. Whoops, we made a uh, brief stop in Tukuche and we have another about five hours of uh, trekking today and uh, on our way around uh, the circuit.
is a group trekking on. We're on the riverbed of the Galakandaki. And uh, it's windy, really windy, and really dusty. And we've run into this caravan, mule caravan, of well-decorated animals. Quite unusual. It's Bino holding my pole from blowing away. Idea of the of the dust coming at us. We're here a little bit of an oasis on the river bed of the Galakandaki. We're chatting, socializing. Note the dust. And here's a little souvenir stand. Yeah, we have a little volunteer action. Someone wants their picture taken. Thank you. That's, that's my, uh, We're at Calapani. Look who's here. Resting on a rooftop restaurant. Greeting some, greeting some friends. Now from the top of... So from this rooftop, we can see great mountains, which will be now be identified by John. On the right, just peeping over the ridge, we've got Annapurna South. Okay. Coming along to the left, you've got the sharp peak of the Fang. Yeah. And then you've got a middle peak, which is just on the ridge up to Annapurna 1. Okay. And the big mountain is Annapurna 1. That's the furthest one? The furthest one. And it's dark. We've got enough yeah. chairs, haven't we? Oh, well, you got the four okay. girls. And then when you... Now, panning across, this is Niligri, which, Niligri. Is, which is a mountain we've seen for the last two or three days as we've been walking up the Great. Great. Right. Valley. This is the Around here. And you come around to Tukichi. This is Tukichi. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got a massive rock wall right down to the Daligiri Icefall. And the is about 6,000 foot long, and then the mountain rising up to the left of the ice ball is Dalgiri. Yeah. The famous Dalgiri. And that's an 8,000 meter tree. What, what and it's beautiful. 8,000. Blue. Very impressive. Also from the roof we can see a good vegetable garden. Things are growing very well. Looks like cabbage, kale. We'll do a little um, cough suppressant tour review of our Annapurna circuit progress. Starting over here at the beginning, the first cough suppressant, Bessie Sahar. Around we go, Nagdi, Tao, Darapani, Koto, Chame, Manang, over the pass at Thoranglā. And that uh, next cough suppressant is marking Tad, um, Gagbeni. And then we pass through Johnson. We spent last night at Marfa. And um, we're passing through this area on the way to tonight. We'll be at Gasa. I'm trying to find the Gasa. There it is. There's the Gasa cough suppressant. There it is. Got Eight o'clock in the morning on the 14th day of our trek, and we're on the way to Tadapani. There's a little bridge down here. We're on the edge of the uh, gorge, and over here they're building another bridge, site of uh, maybe construction-induced landslide. The depth of the Kalikandaki gorge is obvious from these images. 
It goes on to become the deepest gorge in the world. <coughs> on the trail in front of us is another one of the many mule trains we've seen. Endless stream of mules. And we better get away because they're going to knock me over. They are so adept at getting over these obstacles, it's quite remarkable. The cables are for another bridge that's being constructed. We're on the trail to a lunch stop at Donna on the way to Tatapani. The trail is becoming more and more semi-tropical, ferns, and lots of different uh, types of vegetation, vegetation we hadn't seen up to a uh, past day or so. No more conifers. So we're getting lower. We're about 6,000 feet and uh, the scenery is changing quickly. I can hardly see a, I can't see a snow covered peak in this area. We're deep in the Kalikandaki Gorge, which can be seen in the distance. Here's a little uh, break stop on the way with the spectacular waterfalls. And an interesting looking bridge. This uh, rest stop had notable uh, donuts, huge and greasy. Take it easy, Bob. We made it to Tatapani in pretty good time today. A lot of downhill, a lot of torturous downhill. And um, we're staying at a, a very nice spot. The Dulagari Lodge. The Dulagari Lodge has a notable garden. All sorts of citrus trees. And a very good selection of uh, obscene desserts chocolate Cadbury cake, lemon meringue pie, orange cake, apple strudel, Danish roll, chocolate brownie. Note the uh, poinsettia plants which are indigenous here and they're all over the trail. In addition, there are lemon and orange and tangerine trees. Outside the hotel, there's a small herd of uh, mountain sheep, or rather domesticated sheep, they're about to run over me. Here comes another. The village is organized uh, around a single street, which is now the Sheep Highway, uh, otherwise a Trekkers Highway. And little children. This is the middle of the Diwali's festival and people go from uh, store to store dancing trying to uh, raise money.
Stuck here on the bridge, Tatapani, two hours out of Tatapani, the mules didn't want to cross the bridge. And this guy is beating this poor lead mule. Now he got the idea to come across. The ones in back aren't too enthusiastic, but they're following. Anyway, we have to wait till they pay. And some, some of us were sicker than others. <laughs> Bob, are you sick? I'm having a little uh, remission. Remission, great. Now on the way out, Pete, we, where are we going? Find our, our transportation. A host. We're on the edge of the beautiful Kalikandaki Gorge. Close to a bridge, giving us many memories of other bridges that we crossed. Still the scenes, the scenes keep unfolding every day. I mean, every moment we see something new going on. It's a yogi. Getting marijuana plant. It's a marijuana plant. Yeah. Here are our quarters with our with their loads. Each load is two duffels. And uh, Mike and Pete and Bob. We're waiting for the taxi. Actually, it's a jeep. We're sort of crowded in this little uh, four-wheel drive jeep. Oh, what about Bino? Dino is going to sit next to David. Our quarters are hanging on the back. Dino is hanging out the back. <laughs> uh, suspension bridge. Oh, the Kalikandaki. A little bouncy. And there's our transportation. It'll be about three hours of poker or 45 minutes on a rough road. What a scene. We are parked under some big swinging apparatus. It was assembled for Diwali. Saying goodbye. Goofy is going to be uh, sort of doing a magic trick there. There you go, Goofy. You happy? You're happy. The end of the journey is not very happy. Rest up. Yes. Uh, in honor of Diwali, the uh, local people are using poinsettia Lalapati. Lalapati plants to decorate their uh, little hamlet here. Uh, the ecology here is changing. We're seeing more uh, conifers up higher and down below. All sorts of other trees, fruit trees. And we're starting to see fields cultivated for rice on the other side and palms so we're back in a subtropical environment and uh, even though we haven't hit any sun we're starting to be soaked by perspiration at the end of the valley we can just barely see snow-capped mountains a closer look at the surrounding valley uh, we start to see some buildings perched on the hill and a beautiful waterfall.
There's a group of Israelis. Hello, Namaste, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, the official end to our trekking occurred here, the Hotel Riverside. And Benny Gallish Shower. And uh, we uh, stumbled in here with some sore feet. Some people's feet were sore than others, but we were all very... Uh, post trek day one, that would be uh, 15 days of trekking and now we're on a post trek. Short vacation in Pokhara and in front of us is Machu Picchu, one of the unclimbed mountains in the uh, Nepal Himalaya. We're here for our afternoon uh, discussion group. <laughs> Today we're on the roof of our very nice hotel called, I think, Mountain View or something like that. Lovely mountain. Lovely, lovely mountain. mountain. Hotel, lovely mountain. And this incredible scene greeted us, thanks to the hand, Mike, uh, in the distance, which is Machu Picchu. And it seems to be floating. It's just beautiful. The sun has fallen, so our valley is out of the sun, but Machu Picchu is still high enough to be in full sun. We can see just the peak of a mound that could be Dogeri or Nogeri. Off to the left. Off to the left, and the center now is Machu Picchu. Behind that tree, is Annapurna 2 and the distance well that's obvious isn't it and now to the business at hand well here we are working hard Bob Mike me and we, we think we changed the name of this mountain we got a little fouled up but uh, Machu Picchu is back there somewhere. We got more mountains showing now. Oh, yeah, and on the on the way left, it looks like that's, that's Machu Picchu. If we're a little bit more beer, we'll get this straight. And the view goes on. It didn't matter that she didn't make it sunny enough. I still. <laughs> well, the uh, sun is fading, but we are on. <laughs> Well, Kivali festival, festival uh, dancing. <laughs> Leaving Pokhara on Cosmic Air. Yeah. Tell the man. Say hello to Gail. Hey, yeah, Our name is Yeah. Our name is Beautiful. Simran. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's is what, very like pretty. <laughs> Gail may not recognize you, KP. You know, you have to. Hi, Gail. Yeah, that's Look. good. Who I have? That's, that's Harry. Harry. Nice Harry. This is Papa? Yeah. Just a minute, now you can start. Okay. Hi, Gail. Okay. <laughs> you recognize whose passport is this? <laughs> <laughs> I can go back home now, baby. Yeah, you can go back. Oh, you're uh, so yes. kind to me. <laughs> Morning at the uh, Tibetan uh, refugee camp.
the great showroom. A quick tour of Tamel. I know Maliki from the other one. I If you need, I give you good fries or not. How much? Just 700 rupees. 700? Yes. Hey, Kik. Fake carbons. Lots of fake carbons. <laughs> Need a shave? <laughs> here in Charles de Gaulle after a wonderful flight, right wonderful Bob? Did you sleep? sleep? I slept like a Why did the captain tell you to stop like snoring? Like a lazy dog. You're doing well. I slept well. Sit down to it. Clean water. <laughs> Clean water. Okay, we had a list of things we had to remember, like quick quick responses. What was the most unforgettable character? 
I'm on the trip. I'm forgetting to kill you, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you always are. Thank you. What was the item that you, that never worked, Pete? Consistently never worked. <laughs> it was. A, how about the slide, the slide lock on the doors? Um, they never worked. Yeah, the doors <laughs> never closed completely. Yeah. Ease. <laughs> what, what was it, what was the item? What was the item that was? Uh, what was the misspelling? The most remarkable misspelling. Or miss were or, or strange. What was that sign? Massage headache. Yeah, that's it. Massage headache. Advertising massage, and it said, you know, for attention and massage headache. Right. <laughs> Pete, what was the food you don't want to see again? Hmm. Well, I stopped eating that. Uh, what is it called? Dal bot. Dal bot. Uh, what was the most common phrase, Pete? Uh, get along, little yak. Well, okay. the bleep well, is my bleeping bleep. That's right. <laughs> what were they, Pete? I mean, Mike? No problem. Yeah. And this is Nepal. <laughs> this is Nepal and? Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, right. <laughs> Who's the most unforgettable lady on the t we met on the trip? A yak named Sue. A yak named Sue. <laughs> unforgettable female. Yeah. Well, it was the three Estonian lovelies, the little sweethearts that we Slovenians. 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 That's close. Slovenians. That's close. Slovenians. Uh, Mike, what was the scariest? Well, track was, we were on or trail Bob, when Bob and I got off the trail looking for a monastery and had to uh, scramble up a 70 degree incline thing. what was the most common expression namaste oh, that's right where was the worst bathroom the worst bathroom those. was in um, the top of Thorn Law uh, no <coughs> the top of Thorn Law a hole in the ground do you remember that one nothing. What was the worst bathroom? The worst bathroom was in Marfa, simply because it was attached to that bedroom, <laughs> and the whole bedroom smelled like That's a bathroom. That's right. That was, that was memorable. <laughs> the best bathroom, Pete? The best bathroom was an outdoor bathroom without a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> the most memorable drink? Roxy on top of Thorn Law. was the Marfa apple brandy. <laughs> what do you remember most about any animal thing? The two dogs stuck together. <laughs> Guess all Pete? that manure on the trail. Manure the is a, a, mung, a mule dung. Wow. What's the tackiest? Oh, I well, know. Tamal the is just, uh, you know, primitive third world tourism. He's in a row and thinking it was relatively clean. That, that was the worst. <laughs> Underwear three days in a row. That was, that was good, that we enjoyed. Mike, who was the worst hangover? Uh, that was the uh, multinational <laughs> hangover multinational. coming down from Thrang La. Memorable. Casting of Roxy, which is a homemade Nepali drink. Uh, apple, apple, schnapps. apple schnapps, which was also homemade by the Slovenian, one of the Slovenian's yeah, fathers. Not his father. And then some really good single malt scotch. <laughs> Most memorable person. Was yeah. The Scotsman Matthew. Whose real name was? His name was uh, Clooney McPherson. Clooney, <laughs> Clooney <laughs> Buffoonie McPherson. And singing a great Scotch song.